everyone and welcome to the Learning Ladder. I am doing a planning video today, um, a plan for next week and for Christmas and Vlogmas and just for the next few months really. So as with my last planning video I have got a treat. <laughs> yes I am still maintaining my diet. I still have four pounds I need to lose so I'm currently 124 I think and I want to get to 119. Um, so I'm 89 for UK people, metric people, 8 stone 9 and I want to get to 8 stone 5. Um, so yeah, I'm still on my diet, but you've got to have treats, you've got to have treats, and especially when you're doing planning, you need to have treats, so let's have a bite, because I've not, I've not, um, cut into it yet, so it's hard shell. <laughs> the chocolate, I think we're supposed to melt it, but I don't think I heated it up enough to, it's supposed to be one of those things, you know, on, I don't know if you've been watching the, um, Great British Bake Off, Oh my gosh, I need a knife now. <laughs> they had they made these desserts where um it was a, a surprise dessert and they pulled the hot chocolate on top and it pulled and broke open the shell, which obviously didn't work because mine's gone cold, but um mm, that was really nice. It only went cold because I had to take Jace out and let him outside for you know he needed to go do what he needed to do outside. So by the time I got back it had melted. But it was cold. Mmm, still really nice though. And I just got it everywhere too. But who really cares? <laughs> we we finished school now for the holidays. Um, we've done our first six weeks of school, so we've got a week off. During that week off, we don't do any um, curriculum at all. It's a you know full break. But what we do do is some fun activities. So being the week Halloween's the week after. I have um, got some activities I want to do for Halloween and I'm going to print those off um, in a minute from Pinterest. I've put them into my Halloween board and um, I have also started, as I said, thinking about Vlogmas. I really want to do it this year. Hopefully you'll be able to do it as long as nothing you know, happens, disastrous or anything. Um, I should be able to do it. My hair's wet by the way. It's not greasy. Wow, I'm <laughs> just had a shower. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you should be able to do vlogmas. I've been making. Do you want some? <laughs> there you go, I'll feed you. I've been making a list of um, all the videos I want to do. So I've got a plan as to how um, I want to do it. So hopefully it'll be okay and turn out. Um, it's going to be really fun anyway because we've got quite a few trips planned. Uh, so you know, field trips planned. Um, so you'll get to go around with us, which will be fun. Not every single 24 day, you know, not every single day of the 24 uh, vloggers period, but at least four, and I'll probably split some of them because they'll be going to multiple places on the same day. So I think there's like, there's, there'll be about four or five maybe trips, um, field trips. So you'll get to see different parts of the UK because we are going all over the place. Um, so that'll be fun. And then the rest of them will be, you know, all the usual vlogmas type stuff. So what my daughter's getting for Christmas, no, sorry, not what my daughter's what I'm getting for Christmas. What's in my daughter's Christmas stocking, um, and you know what's in her Christmas Eve box, and um, our Christmas grocery haul, those type of things. You know, it's fun videos. I like to watch those anyway, so hopefully you'll enjoy them too. So what else am I doing with planning? Um, I am wanting to get all our Christmas additional activities sorted out. So I have um, a couple of ideas of some products that I want to get. I did download tons of free things off Teachers Pay Teachers but I do actually want to purchase a couple of things because as I said we'll be going on a few field trips um, and they're quite far away, um, some of them are, so we'll be in the car a lot. Now I get terrible travel sickness so I cannot read in the car, I can't watch anything in the car at all, I have to just be focused on the horizon otherwise I feel really nauseous. I'm fine as long as I don't, I don't do any of those and my daughter's inherited it too. So she can't watch um, any kind of video or movie or tablet or anything in the car at all because she'll get sick. Um, she doesn't appear to be as bad yet with reading, um, but I can't read to her. So what my plan was is um, one of the Moffat Girls December, um, uh, what's it called? No prep December. It's math and literacy centres basically. So I thought we could, I could get that, and then provided she isn't feeling nauseous, then she can. Um, do some of those and on the journey there and then obviously sticker books and you know all the usual car type things that you would take with you um but obviously i wanted them to be some educational things in there too as well as normal games that we can play um you know ice pie and all those kind of things 
Uh, but yes, no electronics in the car, we can't do that. And no books for me either. <laughs> um, it's really so sad because the, when you're in the car, it's the perfect time to read, but I can't. So, um, yes, so I was thinking of getting the, the Moffat Girls December uh, pack, but I also really like Fun Hands on Learning. She has the um, a Christmas pack as well. That wouldn't be for in the car because it's very, um, there's lots of different pieces and everything else. But I would, we do that, you know, during the the seasonal period um but i don't know that she's going to update it because her, her child's gone up to the next grade so i'm putting off buying it just in case she does decide to update it but with her having another baby i'm thinking she probably won't and to be honest i had watched her video again and some of the activities will be fine and if i was to buy them separately you know for excluding the ones that i think she's over now you know older too easy for her basically it would work out pretty much the same for the ones that I did want to purchase, so I'll probably just get the whole thing. Um, so yes, that's what we're doing. But I am going to go on Pinterest now, once I've eaten this, <laughs> and um, then pick some things and I'll show you what I've printed off. And I have, I've got a few videos to film for next week. So I want to batch film quite a few videos, I've never done that before. But I want to do that um, because I was sick uh, last week. Um, I had a really bad cold, no voice, you know, just, it was horrible, congested, it was ho horrible, yucky cold, uh, my daughter had it too, um, so I didn't put a video up next week, so I was thinking if I batch film a few, then if that ever happens again, then I'll always have a video to put up, because uh, I don't want to neglect my channel, um, but I did actually film a grocery haul, and then I was thinking, oh, I don't want to put that up, because it was a filler video, and you know, it just seemed daft to just put that up for no reason um, so I just missed skipped a week so that's why you haven't got a video last, that's why you didn't get a video last week but I'm gonna batch a few so I've got a few videos to film for next week um, our homeschool update so how the first six weeks went um, favorites video as well because I've got some new favorites I want to share with you especially because the holidays are coming up you might want to add those to your list um, what else couple of other things so yes so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna quickly eat this car because it's um, going to go really cold if I don't and then we'll get back to it okay so I've just let the dog back in I'm looking at my computer but this is what this video is it's a plan with me it's not me sitting talking to you so um, actually let me just fix something because that thing up there has just fallen down and it's annoying me <laughs> okay so does anyone do this email themselves I do it all the time I do it with writing ideas <laughs> So if I um, suddenly get an idea for a scene, I'll email it to myself. <laughs> um, that's why my inbox is full and telling me I need to delete things. Um, and that's, that's Gmail, which just seems crazy. So yes, uh, I email things for myself. So I emailed some Halloween things from Pinterest that I like the look of, just to um, remind me of what they were because my Halloween board is huge and it's full of stuff and um, I wanted to just pick a few things and this is so good oh my gosh mm. sorry if I've got chocolate all over my mouth you know it's real life I do have a little <laughs> okay so Halloween mystery boxes I thought that would be fun because we've just been doing senses just this last week in science so um it, that's still education but it's still fun so I think we'll do that, so I just need to get some, um, well, some of them we already have, things like spaghetti. So I can put that in, I'm just opening the website. Since the new legislation about data protection, every single site you click on, you do get that, I don't know if it's still the same in, this, in the US, but we get this thing that comes up saying, do we have permission for them to use our data or add cookies, and it's so irritating. Um, and it's every single site. So, and it's, it's storage, storage containers, which obviously I've already got. So, food supplies, uh, <clears throat> they're talking about, let me see, cooked spaghetti for brains, which fingers is carrot sticks, um, well, which fingers are carrot sticks, monster teeth are corn kernels, and eyeballs are peeled grapes. I'm not peeling grapes, so we'll just do regular grapes. <laughs> Um, which is tongue is long sliced banana and monster ears are dried apricots and monster hair is yarn. Okay, so take off what I already have. I already have yarn. I have bananas and grapes. Um, 
corn, I'll have cats, I'll have spaghetti, I'll have... So the only thing I don't have is dried apricot. I love apricots, but they're so bad for your teeth. Um, the dried fruit version. So I don't, we only have them really as treats. Um, although I think raisins are worse than apricots. So um, I just need to buy some dried apricots. So what I'm going to do is open a new window in Word. And I'm just going to make a list of things to add to my grocery list. Oh, that's another thing I'll be doing in a bit as well. Starting my shopping list. I've got a coupon that I need to use for next week before it runs out and I want to see if I can order a few things, a few bits for Christmas, things that we'll keep um, so I don't lose out on my coupon and the discount. So, I guess I'm tagging with one hand because I'm holding this still. Um, Jace is here with us now, he's just gone on the window ledge. So what do I need? So spaghetti, I'm just going to write what I need anyway, even though I already have it. Carrots. Um, banana. Apricots. Grapes and corn. So are any of you doing or planning to do Vlogmas? I know tons of people always do it every year. I've never done it on this channel though, so I thought it'd be fun. Uh, last time I did it was on a previous channel that I had, and that was in 2015. So times have changed, obviously. My daughter's a lot older now. Um, and I really like watching those videos, not all the time, obviously, but occasionally going back and watching them. Um, apricots, corn. What was the other one? Yarn. <clears throat> Okay, so that's one of the things we're going to do next week. Let's see what the next thing was. It's kind of fun clicking on links and seeing what you actually emailed to yourself because when you look at the email, it just says save this for later on Pinterest. So it's, what is it? If I choose. Okay, so the next one is just bubbling brew. Which is bubbling brew? Oops. I'm just going to click on that. It looks a sensory box with spaghetti in, so I could repurpose that spaghetti so it's not going to waste. I just got chocolate all over my spoon. Okay, um, I don't think I can eat all this actually at one time. I'm going to put it in the fridge and have a bit after because it's really, it's very, very chocolatey. I'm just going to put it over here because Jace will get it if I don't. And dogs aren't supposed to have chocolate, so. Okay, so which is bubbling brew? Ghoulish eyeballs, we've got those. Lice, rice? <laughs> Spaghetti rat tails, dinosaur bones, spooky spiders, and water bead fish eggs. Okay, cool. So I already have a bunch of water beads that I made for a craft, for a sensory box that we already did um, for the week. Okay, so put all the ingredients in a large bowl, add a dash of washing up liquid, fill half with warm water, pop in a straw and blow bubbles until all of the ingredients are hidden beneath the bubbles. Hiding the ingredients adds another level of spooky Halloween fun. Mm. Set down the bowl. Asked each of their children to find one of the ingredients by searching through the bubbles with their hands. Oh, this sounds really fun. I, she's going to love this. Okay, so this is called Witch's Bubbling Brew. Okay, Witch's Bubbling Brew. And what do I need? I'm just going to copy those because she's already put into a nice long list. Will it let me? Or is it? protected oh, protected I hate that oh no it's not yes <laughs> um, well I shouldn't really say that because it's not really good to copy things but it just makes life easier sometimes so we already have eyeballs so I just need to make up some rice spaghetti we'll already have dinosaur bones what did they use for dinosaur bones oh they used those plastic not plastic well yeah I guess they are plastic pretend scale dinosaurs um, I don't know if we've got any of those. I have to think about something else I can use for that. Oh, and straws, because I know we've run out of straws. So I need to put straws on there. Okay, so that's number two. Um, I just want uh, to have a little activity every day, just so she's not getting bored. If we're, if it's a rainy day or something and we can't get out anywhere. or It's actually half term for all the schools here too. So I don't really want to go on any field trips because everywhere will be packed, otherwise we would. 
but I want to go on a field trip the following week when they all go back to school. <laughs> um, craft stick spider webs. So basically you're using your craft sticks and then wrapping yarn around and sticking one of those plastic spiders in the middle. I don't need to look at the instructions for that because it's pretty obvious. So uh, craft stick spider webs. And I have all those ingredients. Ingredients. Um, I have all those resources. So craft sticks, yarn, plastic spiders. What I'm going to do though is just take a cup. What? Um, I just take a picture, a copy of the image, so that I know what it's supposed to look like at the end. What's the matter? Oh, <clears throat> he wants me to throw this. Is anyone else the same who's got pets? As soon as you sit down, they pounce and he wants to buy. I mean, I can't blame him. I would do the same thing if I was a dog. Um, there we go. Okay, so that's that one. That was easy. Next one is... Let's find out. Oh, this is a um, an edible one. So it's just basically a Halloween treat. So it looks like Oreos with gummy worms in creepy crawly dirt pudding cups. So just calling that. So we could make that next week for a little craft. Um, we'll be having our Halloween party obviously on Halloween night and I'll do all the baking for that the following week. But I think she'll enjoy doing that. So what we'll, what we'll do is we'll use some, I'm just gonna put Halloween creepy crawly cups. Chase, just a second, please. Mama's got to type. <clears throat> so, we'll use Chocolate Angel Delight for the bottom. And then we'll get some um, chocolate cookies or something, Oreos or... For the top, and then... I, does anyone else's kid not like gummy sweets? So I was just saying, yes, uh, does anyone else's kid not like sweets? Um, as in gummy sweets or anything like, um, you call, you call chocolate candy, which is really confusing in America. Um, whereas chocolate to me is chocolate candy, would, to me would be some kind of sweet, um, like a jelly sweet or a gummy sweet. But anyway, my daughter doesn't like anything like that. Um, no gummy sweets, no, she likes sweets, period. She likes chocolate, but she doesn't like sweets. So they had gummy worms in it. So I'm trying to think of what I could put in that she would like. I've got some ghost marshmallows, so I think we'll put those on top. Because she won't eat the gummy worms. Okay, so that's that one. I'm out of breath because I've just run downstairs. <laughs> that's why I need to get fit. Um, and also because I had, I still quite a bit congested from that stupid cold last week excuses <laughs> okay the next one is vanishing ghosts and it's using those packing peanuts and basically you just put them into water and they obviously melt over time i need to find if i've got any left i did have some up there in our uh, winter sensory bag so if we've got them then we can do that um so i'm going to put it on i'm just going to put packing peanuts vanishing ghosts with a question mark because I need to check if we um if I actually have them. Question mark. Okay. Um and then what's next? Two more. So this one is oh a Halloween word search. So I just need to print that. So it's on Teachers Pick Teachers. I'm going to download it and then hit print. Is this fun? I hope it's fun. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's really boring. Let me know. <laughs> um, this is as real as you get though. I mean, this is what I'm doing right now. So anyway. So well, I'm just printing this actually. I'll just show you my most wonderful time of the year Christmas planner. So let me just see which pages I want to print. Um, not that one, not that one. What is that? Fill in the jumbled Halloween word. Hmm, not too bothered about that. Right, page four. 
The house is spooky. Okay, I can do that one. Page five. So just page four and five. Two, five. There we go. Okay, so that's printing. So yes, um, let me just close it off and open the other thing. I know you want me to throw that for you. Hang on a second. Oh, there we go. Pitch two. Ready? Okay. Did that open? No, it didn't. So yes, um, this is my Christmas planner. I uh, haven't started filling it out yet, but basically, oh yes, this looks really, we did, we already did this. So it was um, a math activity, which we already did it in school because I don't really want to do this next week. But basically it was where you put different mani manipulatives into those little cauldron cups or pumpkin cups. We have the um, Frankenstein cups and then you use cotton buds to um, do tally marks with them so you know sorting out how many they, there are and then do tally marks but i already did that we've already did that. we did that today so um i'm not gonna do that one so that's my activities for next week as i said there's no school next week so we'll just i think there was one two there was at least five of them so we'll just do one a day um of those so that's what we're doing for halloween next week the week after we are back in school on the monday we're going on a field trip um so we won't be doing school that day is Halloween Wednesday? Yes, uh, the Tuesday we'll be doing school, but we'll do some Halloween activities as well. And then obviously Wednesday's Halloween, so we'll we'll do um, a Halloween type school that day. So some fun school activities, Halloween themed, and then we'll have our Halloween party. Anyway, Christmas. So this is my planner. So the pages that I use, so I have the December daily, so I can put down what activity we're doing that day. Christmas bucket list, I'll put two of those, one for, just regular life and one for school um then i've got my christmas baking list and i have got two pages of those and then christmas craft ideas i've got five pages of those and then there we go christmas menu christmas eve planner and then christmas day so i'll be starting to fill that out um not right now because i I'm just going to get those off the printer and my daughter wants to play a game. So we're going to play Quirkle and then I will pick this up later tonight. Um, I will start listing the things that we're going to do for Blogmas. Jace is going crazy. Lift, listing the um, crafts and you know activities we're going to do for Blogmas and finding them on Pinterest and printing those out so that they're all ready and my daughter can pick which ones she wants to do each day. And... Um, then what else do I need to do? Oh, my grocery shopping. So I need to start doing that later, but I'll do that later. And then I'll treat myself by watching A Discovery of Witches. And if you haven't watched it yet, which you won't have done if you're in America, but it's coming soon to whatever services you have over there. It's coming soon. Um, it's fantastic. So it's based on the All Souls trilogy by Deborah Harkness. And it is fantastic. I only just read the books. I hadn't, to be honest, I hadn't even heard of her before, which probably sounds really bad. Um, until I watched the first episode of it and I was hooked when I watched it. I had to know what happened. I mean, it's one of those ones, it's an episode a week. It's not um, like Netflix where it's, you can stream them all and binge watch. So I wanted to know what would happen. So I ordered the book. Um, they didn't have the book in stock. So that's how popular she's become. Sorry, I'm playing with the dog. <laughs> um, tug of war. So I had to get the Kindle version. So I ordered um, the three of them because it's a trilogy. I've read them all now fantastic but what is so special about the adaptation is you know how sometimes when they trans when they put things from book to movie or tv it loses something it did not at all it's so atmospheric it's it's just fantastic the people who made it are absolutely fantastic so when it comes to the us watch it if you like those kinds of things so it is obviously a discovery of witches so witches vampires you know it's fiction but it's really fun and the as i said the the adaptation of it is amazing the characters that they cast for it they are the people in the book it is just fantastic so i can't recommend that enough so after i've done my shopping and all those other things i needed to do on my list then i'm gonna watch a discovery of witches tonight but right now i'm off to play quirkle and no doubt play tug of war at the same time and i'll see you in my next video bye for now